I remember a simpler time where if a girl wore lipstick or a little extra face makeup, you know, people noticed it. Well, now it's 2024 and it's the age of social media and powerful influencers of young women uh, and their behavior are getting rich doing so. TikTok and Instagram and Snapchat and their various filters, I believe, have been a wild net negative on society, in particular for women. Um, just in the way that you see them dress, you see what they do to their faces with plastic surgery, like that chick from The Boys, what you see um, in their actions. It's, it's terrible what it's doing. Now, back in the day, for example, you could talk about, you know, in movies, you see, you see a lot of people smoke, right? So they cut that out. Now, if you see somebody like ripping a grit in a movie, it's extremely rare. You're like, whoa, somebody's smoking a cigarette. I think I was like watching Oppenheimer. I think I was watching Oppenheimer and I feel like, whoa, all these people are smoking cigarettes. What's happening? Like they stopped doing that. They cut them out of movies because it was influencing people to smoke, right? Allegedly. And now we've got a whole nother level of things that in particular um, appear, uh, go after women and uh, want them to do whatever this is to their faces. It's awful. It's, it's weird. Now, some people might say, hey, it's just a tattoo. And I, I guess I have to agree with that. I also think anybody that gets face tattoos is making a life decision. If you get a face tattoo, that's a life decision. You get a bad tattoo on your arm, your leg, your forearm, you can cover that up. But what this is, is ginger appropriation. And it's ruining their lives. I got freckle tattoos and people say they will age like a tramp stamp. I mean, what is, what is, women, are you okay? Are you okay, women? By the way, you know what's wild about this? Look how red it is. Maybe it's just because it's on the face, but I've definitely had tattoos before and my arm is not red. I mean, it's a little red, but not this. This is like burning hot red. I mean, what is, look at this face. It looks cartoonish. Look at this. It looks ridiculous. It goes onto faces. You look like you have acne. Oh, it looks, oh, it's so bad. And why are they all, they're all young women. They're all young women. It's so sad. Oh, it looks so bad. Oh, it looks so bad. Oh, yuck. What are you doing? Women. It looks like they have scabies. I don't even understand. People are opting to get freckles tattooed on their face in the latest fashion trend, by the way, which got famous on TikTok. While some might have been bullied for having a freckly face, when they were at school, did people get teased for freckles? I I never heard of that. I mean, I had birthmarks on my face. I think I had I I got teased for that once in a while. Mary Wickajowski, a tattoo artist, says she specializes in this type of design. Her videos uploaded to TikTok have gone viral around the world, with many people divided on the new trend. One person wrote, I don't get the trend. I'd do almost anything to get rid of my freckles and be able to enjoy the sun without worrying. 
Another added, I used to be bullied for my freckles when I was younger. When did they become a fashion statement? A third said, I used to hate my freckles, not just on my face, but they cover my legs and arms too. They're here all year round, but the slightest ray of sunshine and boom, they're out in full force. Learn to accept them as if, who cares about freckles? Has any man ever cared about that? I feel like getting freckles tattooed on your face, it says a lot about your self-esteem. It says a lot about like TikTok culture and people's insane, pathetic need to be a part of everything instead of just being individuals. It doesn't, you know, people think that what is on the outside is going to make them unique and special, but whatever happened to teaching people that it's what's on the inside that counts. A few haters even said it looks like full blown acne. And Mary has responded to those haters in a video telling him to watch your mouth. Of anything that could have been left on her face. We discussed the placement of the freckles. If we want them a little higher, a little lower, we need to agree on a vision together. Then I start with tattooing her nose. And the nose area is usually the most painful for my girls. Then what are these people doing? I, and you see people are getting rainbow freckles tattooed. Looks like an infection. An Australian-based woman is tattooing rainbow freckles on her customers, and the internet is not impressed. Here's this person. She had freckles tattooed on her face, and now she's desperate for them to fade. What about the rest of your body and all those other bad tattoos? And why did you get black freckles, you idiot? Why are they black? Most of her ink is garbage tear, by the way. She might have effed up so bad she didn't figure if they'd laugh, but they most definitely would cry. What? What is, what's happening? I got freckles and people say they will age like a tramp stamp. Oh, you already have a head tattoo. Oh, women. Okay, I don't care for tattoos on women uh, as a personal preference. I do not judge tattooed girls like that harshly or anything. Um, I think like a half sleeve on a chick can look cool or whatever the case is, you know. I don't like hate it. But if you get a tattoo on your face or head, you're an actual idiot. What is you, this? This chick is worried about freckle tattoos. She's got somebody's name tattooed on her forehead. What? What is this? This chick looks ridiculous. Even when it does fade, why does she have so many freckles? Why wouldn't you just do, couldn't you just do this? You know, obviously I don't have a lot of experience with makeup, but it feels like, can't you just do this with makeup? I don't even understand. The first generation that grew up with unrestricted use of social media are test subjects. Numerous regulations will be implemented by the time these kids reach middle age and they will all be single with kids. Pff, zoom. That's probably true. That's a man. What? Oh my God. What is, I mean, come on, ladies. 
Is it freckle juice? No, freckle tattoos. You get freckle tattoo, you get... What? This is why kids got to stay off social media. Look at this. Ah, It looks insane. It's time to stop. It's time to stop. Kids, think twice before you do anything to your body that's permanent. This is, I mean, look, it might look a little ridiculous at first, and maybe it gets better down the road, but it still looks absurd. And you don't need this. It doesn't make you more attractive at all. In fact, it's really just, it tells the rest of us that you're broken inside. It looks like some bird shot. Looks like you went duck hunting with Dick Cheney. That's what it looks like. Not a fan. I guess you let me know in the comments what you think, but yikes.